Man, I'm sorry to miss the good old days. The good old days before any brain rot. Before the inevitable YouTube slop that is posted every single day. Before I even had to mention names like The Rizzler or Baby Gronk, which I absolutely hate saying. I mean, those words coming out of my mouth, it's making me sick. And so I thought, what better idea is there for me to make than reminiscing about old Rock League YouTubers, the OGs, the true makers of the community. I mean, guys who have been doing it for many, many years, but aren't recognized anymore or anywhere near at least to what they deserved or what they used to. The era before the monopoly of current YouTubers such as Spook Luke, Musty, Waitin, Sunless Khan, and probably a lot more names that I'm missing out. So sit tight, relax, listen to me speak about Rock League YouTubers for the next 10, 15 minutes. I don't even know how long this is gonna run. But without further ado, Let's jump into my first YouTuber. You may or may not know the name Neat Mike. Now, Neat Mike made many, many Rock League videos, especially prior to 2018, and was essentially just a humorous slash sarcastic slash edgy Rock League YouTuber. Now, he was absolutely crushing it, getting hundreds of thousands of views on videos, even millions, and in general, just posting some commentary content and some gaming content on Rock League with two other guys, one of them being John Sandman, the other being Woofles, who I will be talking about in this video, or I might have already. But besides that, let's just say his content was interesting, let's just say his cult following was very, very interesting as well. And okay, sure, he could be very, very edgy, but ultimately was a very, very funny guy who was making typical gaming content in Rock League, doing absolutely absurd challenges and whatnot. It kind of started changing, especially after mid-2017, when they did RLCS in the team known as F2, which he... John Sandman and Woofles made and essentially after making it quite far he almost felt burnt out in a weird way I mean I can't really explain it I'm looking from the outside and I guess just kind of didn't want to do it anymore although he did make a comeback with John in 2020 and Woofles of course in that famous F2 comeback four years ago during lockdown I think he again disappeared and took about four years to upload, which is ridiculous. And I guess just comes back once every blue moon. So a very, very popular YouTuber who probably could have reached 1 million if he just kept grinding. But at the same time, it's completely understandable that he didn't want to keep doing it and felt pretty burnt out, judging from how he was, I guess, acting towards YouTube or how he was speaking about YouTube many, many times. Fun fact, he's also been in some legal trouble due to burning a couch, I think, a few years ago which was admittedly very, very stupid, but then got into some more legal trouble, which actually wasn't entirely his fault and was actually very, very scandalous, which is a whole other story in itself, but you should definitely watch it. It's a very, very crazy story, which I cannot go over right now. Now, I wouldn't even blame you if you didn't know who Sis was or if it didn't really ring a bell for you, but Sis is slash was a Rock League YouTuber who, let's just say, was very very outspoken and essentially was a coach an nrg coach for that matter i mean he coached nrg for many many years in rlcs events and did quite well at it let's just say that and had a pretty interesting personality but didn't really get too controversial aside from one incident which i can play to you basically he was complaining about servers and ranting about psionic in a not very nice way but this is probably the worst incident i can find i hope one of these useless <laughs> watching my stream dude one of them just one of them a company full of brainless monkeys it's crazy jesus christ like, what is this going on but other than that he's a pretty down-to-earth guy he used to make content especially in 2017 2018 it was very very popular and worked alongside other youtubers such as rizzo don't make a joke about that name and neat mike who i'm sure could ring a bell for some people but anyways sis did a lot of content in regards to coaching rlcs and in general just casual gameplay where he just talks and just chills basically however ever since he got either laid off i think or he just left his coaching position at nrg he really hasn't been seen in a long time doesn't really do much i mean yeah i did actually see he interacted once on twitter and that's it and other than that he hasn't been really a presence in pretty much any media or anything on rock league so yeah, let's just hope he's doing well still i'm sure he's made his good money but Aside from that, not much more to say about Sis. Yet another name that bears some significance in the older YouTube days of Rock League has to be none other than Rizzo. Now Rizzo was a part of G2, you may or may not know the pro team, and was actually kind of big on the RL RLCS scene and in the competitive scene in general, as well as the casual scene of course. 
as he made some very helpful videos i think back in the day such as the road to grand champ series which he had was actually very very instructive i actually used to watch that series as well to be honest he was a very very good youtuber and played alongside sis who has been mentioned as well in the start of the video but in general it looks like he's been moving away from rock league content in fact it doesn't look like he wants to do content in regards to rock league at least and is moving towards a more i guess general irl style or just other games i don't know streaming like minecraft which okay isn't the most original but it is definitely a way to go about youtube nowadays and i wouldn't really blame anyone especially rizzo who has done youtube for years to want to basically quit broccoli content and probably not upload much more because truth be said there's only so much you can do in rock league and yes yeah, sometimes it's kind of limited and the possibilities aren't endless i mean seriously you've seen what leth can do do you really think everyone can be a left and just pump out videos daily with new ideas kind of and try the very very best it's tough it's very very tough and i really wouldn't blame anyone for wanting to quit rock league in the first place especially youtube rock league ah the name woofles definitely brings back a lot of memories from f2 now this team was basically a gimmick the whole point of this team was to troll pros and to not actually be serious as a pro team and I guess the whole joke was to make it to RLCS without actually trying. I mean, they did quite well, actually. They made it, I think, back in 2017. They made it eight games away from the second weekend of qualifiers, which is actually very, very good. And you can definitely go check out the videos on that. I mean, absolutely amazing journey for a team which wasn't serious. Now, Woofles was essentially a Minecraft YouTuber before Rock League and already had a pretty big following. In fact, was actually a very popular member of this Minecraft group called The Pack. But I'm not going to be talking about Minecraft. Anyways, he started making content with John, got pretty big from Rock League as well, and essentially got very, very big from F2 as well. So was doing very, very well, pulling in the views. And again, once F2 kind of stopped, I guess, or disbanded almost, like kind of disbanded, he really, let's just say, kind of fell off a cliff with the Rock League content. I mean, he couldn't keep it consistent with Minecraft and Rock League. He couldn't juggle both. And actually quit a few years ago after he grand champ which actually is a pretty good video and probably the last john and rob video you will see and nowadays he goes about making minecraft content on his private server or sir i don't even know what it is and let's just say a few people are a little disgruntled at him or i don't know i mean i don't even know what they're beefing about i really i'm out of touch with minecraft i couldn't tell you it's kind of sad seeing these type of journeys where people i guess fall out of the youtube algorithm or just completely fall out of the entire network of youtube or at least what they were good at a few years ago but i guess that's sometimes just the natural order of things and guys like woofles who were once pretty big just don't cut anymore um because people i guess are watching musty or whatever every single day or spook loop who knows so i hope that you've enjoyed this little nostalgia trip that i tried creating within this video if you didn't know most of these youtubers or didn't know any of them then I guess the more you know. And I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video because, let's be honest, it will help out this channel. And make sure to leave a comment down below, criticizing the video or praising the video, whatever you want to say. Free speech, I guess, and all that. Just say whatever. But most importantly of all, have a good day or night wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Hello, hello,